Hey everyone, it's Drew here, Card of My Eye. Today I have another kit to share with you. Um, this is using the Moulin Rouge Paper Collection from Prima. It's again a brand new 2011 winter CHA release. So it's just in stores now. So, um... Um, I had a lot of people contact me after yesterday's kit asking if I, if there was somehow I could make more of them. And sadly I couldn't because I only had one package of the paper. Um, so I decided to make another kit using the Mer um, Moulin Rouge paper from Prima. And this is really awesome color palette as you can see. And um, here are the papers. Again, like yesterday, you're going to get 12 6x6 papers. But um, again, like yesterday... Two of the kits will have this set of papers, and then two of the kits will have this set of papers. And I'll share with you both of them so you guys get an idea of which papers you get. But here's the first one. Really beautiful. Look at this, you guys. There's like a masquerade dancer there. And they are single-sided papers, and they're really thick um, papers as well. And they'll just vary per kit. I mean, uh, you'll get two of the kits will have this paper, and I'll just vary which one you'll get. Um, so really nice papers. I'm trying to show you guys all of the papers here. And this one has some writing on it, and it has some lines as well. And this one has this sort of a pattern on it, some distressed on the edges. And then some, um, work down there, and then some, um, some design work here. And that's actually a lady. There's her face right there. Um, but it's really nice as you can see, and then we have a nice, um, the color palette's really nice, I'm trying to share with you the colors, but it's basically like a purple, dark blue, cream, black, and a hint of green here and there in the papers, so there's a dark blue, here's that cream I was talking about, and then there's a the green, it kind of just pops in here and there, so those are the 12 papers from the, um, first paper co collection that you can get, or paper set, and here's the second set, a nice distressed blue, Distressed grayish color. And then another grid pattern line. And this one's really cool with the lady. And then it looks something like that. And this one, I like this one a lot. It has like this framework with a, a ledger in the center of it. And this one is kind of like distressed gray, but it kind of has this canvas. It, it actually is not textured, but it looks textured. And then this lady on this paper here. Then we have this one with all the words on it. And the words are really cool, I think. I love it. And the polka dot dark blue. And then this one that has kind of like a rose print in the background. And then this one, which is really nice. I like this one a lot. And this one, again, an awesome paper. So those are the papers in the second set. So two of the kits will have these ones. Two of the kits will have that one. It's just random, whichever kit... Um, you get it it's random but both of the papers are absolutely amazing so they're both going to make an awesome mini album and this mini album is actually a library pocket mini album and i'm going to share with you what i mean by that you're going to get the five five library librarian pocket die cuts and i actually handmade all these librarian pockets but um so you're going to get the five librarian pockets that look like this they're already scored there and there for you and this is what I mean. This is what your librarian pocket is going to look like. I just covered it with some random pattern paper just to share with you. But here's your librarian pocket. Slips in, and you'll have enough pattern paper to cover the front and back of all of these. And you'll still have two extra 6x6 papers to cover some tags or whatever you'd like to do. So this is what your librarian pocket is going to look like. And the, the pocket measures... One second, I didn't even measure it. Um, five inches by... Three and a half inches, so it's a really nice um, sized pocket. Or sorry, it's five inches by four inches. I wasn't reading it right. So it's um, a five inch by four inch. Or am I getting that wrong again? No, it's okay. It's five inches by four inches, and then this is a little one inch tab here. So the actual base piece here is um, four inches by um, four and a half inches. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I'm doing this wrong again. Yeah, okay. Actually, the, the, the size of the library pocket is four or five and a half inches by four inches. That's the size. And the back looks like this. And here's a library pocket. And it's going to be bound on this edge, which is going to close it off. So pretend it's bound with two rings right here. So your pocket is not going to slip out. And so let's keep going with the kit. Sorry about that, guys. So again, you're going to get the five library pocket die cuts. And, the, and this is a really thick craft card stock. 
and you're going to get four of these five and a half inch by eight and a half inch um, pieces of, of craft cardstock again in the really thick size to make your tags and you're going to be able to make um, easily five tags out of all of these papers and you're going to have two papers to cover some of the tags and you're also going to get for chipboard pieces um, this die cut here a Tim Holtz ornamental die and a Tim Holtz flourish die and what's awesome about this one is it fits perfectly in your library pocket so you could have this as one of your tags or have an extra tag in there or you could even adhere it to the back of um, one of your pages as a photo mat so it's a perfect little element so you can you get one of these and one of the flourishes and you also get I'm gonna kinda of fan out this paper so you can see some of the colors um, you also get two of these journaling spots, spots from Can Company. This one says, tell me about, you, you put a check mark by your first romance or your first job, and you write about it, and it's tell me about your happiest memory, f funniest memory, saddest memory, most embarrassing moment, and these will vary as well per kit. But what, what's awesome about these, again, is they fit in here. So you just have to adhere them to some cardstock, fit them in here, or you could fit them on the front, or not really the front, but you could also adhere them on the back and have a nice journaling spot to write. So you get two of those. You also get a large doily. This is about seven and a half inches across. So you're going to get one of those. You're going to get a feather. This is a guinea feather. A scallop square die. This is, uh, I think it's around a two and a half inch scallop square. Yeah, two and a half inch by two and a half inch scallop square. And this is in a um, vintage dictionary print. This is from Studio Blackbird. And you also get a mini, po um, mini envelope die. All you have to do is score here, here here, here, and here, and then fold them up into an envelope, and you're also going to get the tab die. All you do is fold it, um, score it down the center, and fold it over, and add it to the top of a tag, or you could even add it to the top of a journaling spot to pull it out. And I think this was awesome, an awesome find. These are some Prima Flowers. I'm not sure the exact name, but doesn't this just, like, scream Moulin Rouge to you guys? Or doesn't this, like, scream the kind of, like, burlesque or whatever type paper this is it kind of has a feather accent and it has these pop out little pieces here and there i really like the the style and these will vary in color and they also have a leaf on them so those are vary in color you're also going to get some um white prima flowers and these are what those white prima flower looks like just vary in um, size and shape but you're all going to get the same amounts of Prima flowers, and you're also going to get this tea rose from Prima and in white, so you can glimmer mist it, and a good glimmer mist recommendation for this kit would be Cranberry Zing, has a perfect um, dark purple shade, so that what I would use, and for embellishments, you're going to get a vintage button, and these will vary, a couple of vintage stamps that coordinate, that's like a perfect coordinating color, a pearl stick pin, a vintage ticket, two eyelets, extra large eyelets in black for the front cover. You're also going to get a vintage um, puzzle piece. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's actually a person in there. And you're going to get some vintage buttons, a memo pen, a little clothes pen, and also your two binding rings for the kit. So I'm hoping you guys got everything that's on the kit so far. And then you're going to get 18 inches of white seam binding, and it's a see-through seam binding, so you could place it over things and you could still read through it. You're going to get uh, about 9 inches of this maroon color ribbon. And you're going to get 12 inches of this Rick Rack dark blue. And you're going to get 12 inches of this kind of um, reddish maroon color satin ribbon. And you're going to get 12 inches of this um, ribbon, which has a loopy edge to it. It's satin as well. And now we're getting into the Prima Laces. You're going to get 12 inches of this Prima Lace. This is a brand new Prima Lace that we have here. Really pretty Prima Lace. I love this one. So you're going to get 12 inches of that. 12 inches of this Prima Lace that has a tinsel to it, so it really sparkles. And you're going to get 12 inches of this one. This is really wide. It's about an inch and a half wide. It looks like that. And you're also going to get 6 inches of this um, trim. And look at how beautiful that detail is on that trim. It has a really nice accent and it has these little dangles. So I thought this would be really perfect to add onto their front cover. Like right here. 
and have your binding holes there, but of course you wouldn't use this paper. You use your paper to go on it, but you're going to get six inches of this trim, and it's really pretty. And then you're going to get one of these bloomer trims that you could cut around the bloom and glimmer mist it and stick it on a page. So that is everything in the kit. Again, it's the envelope pocket mini album kit using the new Prima Moulin Rouge paper. The kit is available in the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.